I've been by here on the news at six. I'm Joe Paris. We'll start with an investigation that is underway in Fruitland, Idaho. It's all about what caused a serious fire that caused damage to structures, trees and expensive farming equipment. It also scared many Fruitland residents last night as it was burning. Our Abby Wilt is live in Fruitland this evening where the fire damaged property. Abby, what do we know at this point? Joe, yeah, that fire last night did scare a lot of residents here in Fruitland. So as you can see, there is a lot of damage that happened. We are at the old nursery that burned down. And to give a little perspective, this is right across from City Hall. So if you're driving into Fruitland, this is on the left, City Hall's on the right. The fire started in this field that you can see, then it spread our way and it ended up burning a couple of vehicles, a lot of farming equipment, and what was storing a lot of that um, equipment in the nursery. It started right over here in this corner. It was supposed to be a typical night for Darcy Reynolds. I was out on my back balcony and I saw this glowing and I thought, well, maybe it's just light. Until she realized what that glowing actually was. And their neighbors out the window, they're like, Darcy, fire across your street. Darcy ran outside with her neighbors, worried for what could come next. It just got closer and closer and closer and it just swept all. I mean, it was quick. Once the fire started, it moved west toward Flower Kettle Nursery right across from Fruitland City Hall. It damaged vehicles, trees, farming equipment, and what was left around the nursery, which closed eight years ago. And we knew the nursery was over there, and so we were like, oh, no, but um, of course we were worried about the businesses, yeah. homes, our home. Before the fire started, Darcy says she heard fireworks in the field, but she didn't see them. But several of her neighbors told me they did see them, leading them to believe that's what caused the fire. There's been a lot of fireworks in our area anyway, uh, fourth. But last night there was there was a whole bunch of uh, fireworks being set off. I actually see a, a big flame across this building behind me. Arturo Madrano was working at the Shell gas station about two blocks from the fire. And I'm just looking at it in shock like not knowing what's going on. Soon after, Arturo says people started calling the gas station to see if they were okay and driving by to see the fire. Something like that big was pretty much doesn't happen often over here. The owner of the nursery that burned told us today they are lucky nobody was hurt and that the fire is contained, but he said it could have easily been a lot worse. Definitely way too close for comfort. And the fire department has not yet confirmed how this fire was started, but Darcy is saying whether it was fireworks or it wasn't fireworks to make sure that you're being safe on this 4th of July as fireworks can easily lead to something like this fire. Joe. And I know there's a lot of attention, of course, on the illegal aerial fireworks, but it's also a good reminder, even the safe and sane fireworks, as they're called, they can still have a fire hazard if you're in an open field like we see uh, the one behind you. Yeah, that is correct, Joe. Awesome. Okay, Abby Wilt reporting out in Fruitland, Idaho. Thanks, Abby. Let's